Good day, students. Uh, welcome to part 12 of our um, study of mathematical induction. Um, do not forget to go to mathcodeserve.com for um, a collection of a wide variety of clips um, on different math topics. For mathematical induction, you can simply go under the calculus. All right, before we start uh, with problem 12, let's go ahead and write down our plan of attack that we're going to use to um, execute our proof. So plan, there are three, three parts to um, a proof by mathematical induction. Part number one is known as the base case. Okay, if um, our equation is valid on the set of all um, positive integers or natural numbers, as we um, have in this problem, our base case involves showing that, um, just, you just have to show, <clears throat> show that n equals one is true. Okay, so show that n equals one is true. That's one is the smallest um, positive integer that there is. Number two is the inductive um, hypothesis. Inductive hypothesis. For inductive hypothesis, um, what you do is you're going to make an assumption. Okay, you're going to assume that um, n equals Let's say k is true for some k in a set of positive um, integers. Now, the third part is known as your inductive step. All right, given your inductive hypothesis, can you show that the next step is also true? So for the inductive step, we have to show, show um, that um, n equals k is true by assumption, follows that the next step n equals k plus 1 is also true. All right, so these are the three um, parts of um, carrying out a proof by mathematical induction. All right, let's now take a look at problem number 12. So for, for number 12, um, we have to prove that the statement um, 1 to the third plus 2 to the third plus 3 to the third plus dot 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 plus n to the third is equal to 1 over 4 n square times n plus 1 square. Okay? Now in some textbooks, this problem is written, the right side of this equation is written as n times n plus 1 is, uh, divided by 2 and this entire expression squared. These two are exactly the same thing. I hope you can see that because when you distribute the square to these two quantities, in the numerator, you have n squared and n plus 1 squared. And when you distribute the 2 to the 2 down here, you have 4. So this proof is applicable to this situation also. It's exactly the same thing, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, carry out our proof. Part number one is the base case. So let's do our base case first. So for the base case, we have to show um, show that um, n equals one is true. Okay. All right. So for that, we are going to plug in one into both sides of our um, equation. So I'm going to put the one in here and put the one in this entire expression. Or you can alternatively select the first term um, of your uh, sum of terms here on the left side. So let's just put the one there. So the question is. Is 1 to the third from the left side, is it equal to the what you get if you plug in 1 into the right-hand side of this statement? So 1 squared times 1 plus 1 squared. So if I plug in 1 here, I get 1 to the third. Is it the same thing as what I get when I plug in 1 in this n and in this n also? All right, let's work, out, work it out and see. 1 to the third is just 1. Is 1 equal to, now let's work this out. Using our order of operations, 1 squared is just 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Square is 4. These two divide out. 4 goes here 1. 4 goes here 1. You have 1 on the left side. 1 times 1 times 1. 1. Our base case checks out. So that's excellent. All right, now let's move on to part 2 of our proof, which is the inductive hypothesis. All right, here we're going to be making making an assumption, all right? So for the inductive hypothesis, 
we're going to assume that um, n equals k is true. All right. So how do we communicate this using a mathematical statement that n equals k is true? What you do is you're simply going to rewrite the original problem you were asked to prove, replacing n with k. All right, you see this n here will become k to the third. This n squared will become k squared, and n plus 1 will become k plus 1. All right, so that's how you make your, you write down your statement of um, your inductive hypothesis. All right, so assume that. Assume that to write a statement 1 to the third plus 2 to the third plus 3 to the third plus <coughs> dot 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 parent continues plus instead of n we have k to the third equals uh, 1 fourth instead of n square we have k square times instead of n plus 1 square we have k plus 1 square so let's assume that this is true Okay, for some k in the set um, of positive integers or natural numbers, the same thing, in the set of positive integers. All right, now this is our assumption, clearly stated. The next thing we're going to do is our inductive step. Okay, this is normally the involved part. Um, inductive inductive step all right so for the inductive step what we're going to do is we're going to show that um, n equals k is true implies that the next step n equals k plus one is also true so this is kind of like a domino effect all right so if any arbitrary k is true and the next is true, so it keeps on going on and on forever for all positive integers starting from 1 to infinity, all right? So that's uh, basically what we have to show um, for inductive step. So let's go ahead and set up the left side. So the left side involves writing down this expression in our inductive hypothesis, 1 to the third plus 2 to the third plus 3 to the third plus dot 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 plus k to the third and what do we do we have to take the next step what is the next step k plus one okay so plus k plus one to the third remember we're looking at n equals k plus one being true also all right so now um if we advance the left side of this equation by one does it automatically advance the right side by one does this become k plus 1 and this become k plus 1? If that happens, then um, we know for a certainty that um, the statement is true. Okay, so this is what I want. Don't write this down, though. This is scratch work. If advancing the left side by 1 results in the right side becoming k plus 1 square times k plus 1 plus 1 square, then I'm good. All right, so let's, that's our goal here. We want to um, simplify this left side in such a way that we have the right side advancing by one also. So let's look at this entire expression on the left, left side. Can we make a substitution using our inductive hypothesis? Now, if you look at this entire piece right here, excluding the last quantity, what is that equal to in our um, inductive hypothesis? We assume that that entire expression is equal to, and we're going to make a substitution here, 1 fourth k square times k plus 1 square, right, by assumption. So that is equal to that plus the last term k plus 1 to the third. All right, we can just put a, a note here by assumption, by assumption. All right, we can make that substitution. Now let's see if we can simplify this into a situation where we have this expression with k plus 1 as opposed to k, all right? So um, to do that, first thing we're going to do is I want to factor out 1 fourth and k plus 1 square, okay? I want to factor out 1 fourth k plus 1 square. You might wonder why am I doing that? Well, 
I have my goal, my end goal in mind. It's good to always have your end goal in mind. So my end goal, this is what I want. I want one over four. I wrote this earlier. Let me just write it again for you to see. Times k plus one square times k plus one plus one quantity square. This is what I want. Okay. So I noticed that there's a one fourth k plus one here. So I want to factor out that um, those two terms from this situation. Okay. To make that easy to do, you notice we have a one fourth here, so it's easy to just factor out one fourth. I can introduce a 4 over 4 here, so it's easy to factor out 1 fourth. So if I factor out 1 fourth and also k plus 1 square, what do I have left? On the left side of this plus, I'll be left with, uh, I'll be left with k square, all right, because 1 fourth and k plus 1 square are already factored out. And on the right side, this power decreases by 1, so I'll have k plus 1 times 4. So 4 times k plus 1 to the first power, which is just k plus 1. All right? So don't forget, k plus 1 to the third is the same thing as k plus 1 times k plus 1 square. All right? I'm just using properties of exponent here. So this, this reduces by 2 when you factor out k plus 1 square. So this is what you have. Now let's simplify that a little bit more. And then we're going to have, this becomes 1 fourth times k plus 1 square. And then this expands into k squared plus 4k plus 4. This is a um, perfect square trinomial. So we can now write this as 1 fourth k plus 1 square. And this entire expression, let me erase my target goal. Or I'll move it down. All right, so if we factor out this perfect square trinomial, you have k plus 2 quantity square. Um, let's see, what do we do now? This becomes 1 fourth times k plus 1 square. And then I can write k plus 2 as k plus 1 plus 1 quantity squared. That's exactly what I want, okay? So um, the right, the left side of my equation, let's reintroduce it down here. We can just bring it down. This entire thing um, <coughs> is now, let me erase that so we don't get confused. So it's now this entire equation. Let's write it down here. We have 1 to the third plus 2 to the third plus 3 to the third plus Da, 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 plus k to the third plus k plus one to the third is equal to an expression you get when you advance the right side of my inductive hypothesis by one also. So that's exactly what we want. All right. So let's write down our conclusion since the statement statement is true for n equals 1 and truth for n equals k implies that n equals k plus 1 is also true. Then the statement, the statement is true for all positive integers, okay, for all positive integers. So that basically concludes our proof, and we can put our little box of accomplishment there. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates to other great um, review clips such as this. And uh, do post a comment to let us know what you think about this presentation. We appreciate it. And do give us a thumbs up if you like um, this clip. More clips on induction can be found on math.serve.com under pre-calc. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.